But in order to understand what's happening today, it's imperative to understand the history of a people that have suffered hundreds of years of near genocidal extinction at the hands of colonialism. A history that's become little more than a footnote in the circles of truth, reconciliation, and climate action. An eagle. It was just right on top of this tree looking at us. I bet you anything there's eagle feathers down there. Should we go look? Yeah, we'll walk over there. Okay, well anyways, let me tell you about this statue here. This 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 thing here. They call this a crying child because um a lot of children were taken out of their homes by the government and they were put in residential schools and um, a lot of children died in the care of the priests and the nuns back in the day. So that's what we call this statue, the crying child. Anyways, we can go here. While they were in residential school, children burnt I guess long time ago the children started a fire in, in the residential school and these are the lives that were lost and they're from Cross Lake in the Norway house. The legacy of Cross Lake St. Joseph residential school left a dark chapter in Cross Lake, Manitoba. Tragically, in the early morning of February 25, 1930, the school was destroyed by fire. In the fire there were 10 children, 9 girls, 1 boy and a sister who were not Fortunate and they perish. The children who will be remembered forever and sadly missed are And they just put this up. Um, oh, you want to come on this way? Eagle feather, a little one. Yeah. Anyways, look at this one. A million times I cried in the night, longing to be loved and cared for. Tears of pain and suffering fell inside these dark walls. We were hidden from the shame and disgrace, a place where I could not be me, a little Indian child. I was beautiful, but you could not see. Although you destroyed a little part of my being. You could, you could not destroy the spirit and the culture inside of me. Sadly, some small and young, their hopes and dreams will never be, but we will, for, we will never forget and forever keep in our hearts the memories and the spirits of those who did not survive. The little Indian child, sad. <laughs> 